So to really understand what digital transformation is and why it's so important for manufacturing, I think it's important to first look back. So I'll use my own career to hopefully paint this picture. I started working in industrial automation in the late 90s, and at, at that time, most PLCs, HMIs, and data systems were proprietary, and integration between systems was very complicated and cumbersome. Profibus, Modbus, DeviceNet, ControlNet, Data Highway, RS-485, RS-232 were the protocols very commonly used, and understanding how to transfer data from controller to controller or to data collection systems not only required knowledge of how the network functioned, but also the perspective of how to use those networks without causing issues in their operations. And yes, I had all the connectors shown on the left, plus a whole lot of others that I carried around the continent in my backpack for a number of years. Across the next 20 years, technology adoption has often been connected to the purchase of equipment, upgrade of processes, or introduction of new products. Innovation has been there, but the speed of adoption wasn't as high as it could have been because of some of the constraints. So to help describe this, I'd like to talk about virtualization on the plant floor. We've only recently reached the point with virtualization where it's become the de facto way for plant floor applications to be deployed. As you can see on this graph, there was a large delay between starting the rollout in the enterprise versus the plant floor. And this is due to a combination of vendor support, end user risk tolerance, and the driving force behind adoption being generally project focused. So why have I taken you on this journey down memory lane? I wanted to do this to contrast what is happening today. The initiatives of the past were primarily driven by the incremental merit of their adoption. They were mostly introduced by technology vendors, partners, or solution providers, and the convergence of technologies has completely changed this landscape. So let's talk a little bit about convergence. We've heard the term thrown around for years. It means the interoperability and in technologies used by the IT space become similar to that of the OT space. The ability to exchange information using standard interfaces, the ability to leverage the capabilities of IT technologies like the cloud, and to create a more connected data landscape. To be clear, we're not fully converged, but we've come a long way towards it. This is hugely important because a converged infrastructure can adopt and adapt faster. The use of standard interfaces and easy to connect platforms and data models means that new technologies can be deployed at scale without some of the challenges I've described in my last few slides. This specifically enables the changes brought by digital transformation to be more of a revolution versus an evolution in the industrial space. So I mentioned the word revolution. I'm sure you've heard of Industry 4.0, which refers to the fourth industrial revolution. The digitalization of industry, as opposed to the first three industrial revolutions, mechanization, electrification, and automation, each of these previous industrial revolutions fundamentally changed how industrial companies operated and led to step changes in productivity and flexibility. Digitalization is expected to be as, or perhaps more significant. Don, Kevin, and Kent described in one of their recent webinars, bringing digital transformation into focus, that this is not a technology problem. It's a combination of people, processes, and programs that is needed to deliver this change. Digital transformation changes the way you operate by leveraging the capabilities that can be enabled with technologies. Some of the most common examples are digital twins, digitally enabled workforces with things like mobile access and augmented reality, migration to the cloud, advanced analytics, predictive maintenance, and, and a host of others. Because of these technologies, there's a lot of companies that are involved in plant floor digital transformation that many industrial automation folks might not be familiar with. Consulting houses, cloud providers, technology providers, IT-centric integrators are all part of the digital transformation puzzle for our organizations. We need to make sure that as industrial focused individuals that we know how to play our part in these initiatives. So how do you do that? Well, first, speaking and describing solutions in terms of their business value is absolutely critical when you're working with end users. For example, if you look at the McKinsey Digital Compass, the circle shown on the slide on the left, which aims to connect value drivers to the industry 4.0 levers that can be used to achieve them, you'll see that predictive maintenance, as an example, has business drivers that are asset utilization and service costs, which relates to reduction in downtime and reduction in maintenance cost. Using tools like this is a way for you to be able to connect plant floor level initiatives to those higher level business drivers that the C-suite is often focused upon. Now, seeking to understand whether there's already been a roadmap developed, 
will help you understand how to contribute to the objectives using your expertise and the tools you're familiar with, like Ignition, and, and ensuring that good technology choices are being made for plant floor uses. We need to balance between usability, risk, and functionality. Ensuring that the needs of the plant floor are being met while still providing the ability to achieve the business objectives is a function that only plant floor knowledgeable people can do effectively. 